name is Dr. Ryan Kohlbrenner, and I'm an assistant professor of clinical radiology at the University of California, San Francisco. I grew up in the northern suburbs of Chicago and made my way out to the University of Southern California for college, where I studied computer science. I opted to attend medical school at the University of Chicago, Pritzker School of Medicine, and graduated with honors before coming to UCSF for radiology residency. I was elected chief resident my senior year of residency and then stayed to complete a fellowship in vascular and interventional radiology. I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to remain on faculty at UCSF and now have the pleasure of working with many of the world's top physicians in their respective fields. An interventional radiologist uses medical imaging to perform minimally invasive procedures on patients. The incisions we make to get into the body are often smaller than the width of your finger, but using x-ray and ultrasound for guidance, there are many things we can do from that small incision. These include treating cancer, slowing the blood flow to certain structures, and curing internal bleeding. Prostate artery embolization, or PAE, is an exciting procedure that is really catching on in the United States, as it has in places like Portugal and Brazil. It is targeted at the many older men with prostate enlargement that results in difficulty with urination. What we do from a small incision in the upper thigh is gain access to the blood vessels and slow the blood flow to the prostate. The procedure takes two to three hours to complete and over the course of weeks to months, shrinks the prostate and results in significant symptom improvement for most men. Conventional prostate surgery can be associated with complications like impotence, incontinence, or ejaculatory abnormalities. The great thing about PAE is that it's a minimally invasive alternative treatment that is not associated with these particular complications, and we're happy to now be offering this procedure to UCSF patients.